Yom Kippur to all the Jews out there. It is Control Chaos. KCAA, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM in the Inland Empire. I'm Gary Garver. Yes, I am live. As, as a half Jew, I'm not supposed to be working, but I'm working today. I actually am live doing the show today. Uh, I want to wish all the uh, the Jews out there and everybody else who wants to atone for their sins in the past year to God a happy uh, Yom Kippur. What, what happens in Yom Kippur, if you don't know, is that basically it's the Day of Atonement. So I just want to throw that out there, but I am working. Usually Jews don't work today. You're not supposed to work. Well, I'm only a half Jew, so I'm only coming in for a half date. Uh, we got some guests in the studio. Uh, Cliff looked at me like he didn't even know I was a Jew. It's Cliff Yates. Cliff, how are you? I thought you were black. I am. I am. I'm, oh. I'm, 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 I'm everything. I'm everything in the eyes of the Lord. Anyways, how are you doing that? Cliff uh, is a comedian, former uh, L.A. County Sheriff for 30 years, just retired a couple of years ago. And um, you have a new project going on, Cliff, and you brought a couple of people in to uh, talk about the producer and director, writers, the whole thing. They sort of do what I do, everything, right? Uh, we have uh, Taylor King and Sean King. The, the show is called Private Sales. Uh, it's on Amazon. And how are you guys doing today? Good. 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 Th- thanks for coming. Yeah, just come on into the mic if you want to. It's a sexy show, Gary, and I'm glad they have me in this thing. And they have me as a hitman. <laughs> I'm actually killing people. And I want everybody to know as a cop, I killed time. That's about it, just time. So tell us, uh, so Sean and, and, and Taylor, you guys are a father-son duo there, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. In fact, I did my first radio interview when I was 20. Today he's 20 and doing his first radio interview. Oh, this is your first interview? Yeah. All right, all right, Sean. All right. Well, congratulations, man. I appreciate that. And uh, and Taylor, uh, so tell us a, bit, a little bit about the uh, – what is it, a movie? Is it a, a series? What is it? Yeah, so it's a series. It's a six-episode series, half-hour episodes, and it premiered uh, this month on Amazon and free on Amazon Prime. And it just follows the story of a young kid who, a little down on his luck, and starts driving for high-end escorts. And it also follows, each episode follows a new girl, how they got into the industry, why, they, why they're stuck in the industry, and a lot of them, how they're trying to get out and can't. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah that's sort of cool. So uh, are you the driver? I am the driver. <laughs> he is the driver. Yeah, yeah. I play the so so, so there's there's three old well two old dudes and one young dude here and and you have all these hot chicks in there and you don't bring any of the hot chicks into the studio for yeah me. no we were coming That's over what we should have done Gary <laughs> at yeah. least one for Christ's sake I, know. I mean you know what how, how do you get started in this Amazon I mean how does the whole thing roll out like get getting a production like this going uh, how's it how's it roll out we just got lucky with good timing and the show came out I think way better than we had hoped it would and uh, Amazon came along and um, so you buy so Amazon bought it is that how it, yeah, how it went down um, I mean it's it's a revenue share. So you know, very much like iTunes, um, it's it's a it's a split with them. Okay, how do you make money? For, for, how do you make money on like an Amazon? Let's say let's say somebody wants to produce a, a, a TV show or a movie or something, and you always hear, oh, it's on Amazon or it's on Netflix or it's yep. on iTunes or whatever. How does it? How, first of all, you got to cut a deal with those guys, I guess, yep. right? Yeah. So there's four ways of making money. People can buy it, they can rent it, they can watch an ad before, and those are all revenue splits. And then there's streaming money. So if they got Amazon Prime, every minute that someone's watching it, we're making money. Money. Really? Surprisingly, <laughs> in, in our first two weeks, um, we're at about 125,000 minutes streamed, and so we're at about a, we're going to be about four million minutes streamed. So by the year, we might make some money. But you know, I, I thought about it at one point in my life driving for a, you know, some escorts. You know, uh, but I just was, I, and I've heard people who've done it, and they said they got to carry like a gun and stuff like. Some of them carry yeah. guns, and like these guys call these chicks up, right? I don't know where. Back, where, where back, is it? Back, back page. Yeah. Is it Craigslist still? I think back page took over, although the, 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 the CEO got arrested getting off a plane for uh, for pimping just like two days back ago. Backpage did? Yeah. Really? So <laughs> what? Yeah. It's big three-year investigation, and they he was in Holland or something, and as soon as he got off the plane here, they arrested him. Most of these chicks have drivers. Is that how it rolls out? Yeah, our thing follows an agency where they have a full-on website, and uh, you, you literally just you book, and uh, you're not selling sex. You're selling time. You're, You're selling, selling time. Yeah. So, 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 t- Taylor, how'd you like that? How'd you like uh, playing that that part? Oh, it was great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, well you're, you're hanging out with a bunch of hot chicks, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're in skimpy clothes, right? Yeah, they're, yeah. they're sexy. Oh, you know um, what I mean? Did, did they ever did, did, did they ever like come on to you and stuff like that? They, come on, man. Oh, that would be nice. But uh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> well, you're you know your dad's watching you, so right? That was sort exactly. of a bummer. Or, other, no, I don't want to make it unprofessional. Yeah, you don't want to make it unprofessional. I not, have not, to have them come back. You, you don't, don't want to be like Donald Trump and make it unprofessional, exactly. right? Or Billy Bush. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, it is Control Chaos. KCAA 1050 AM. 
106.5 FM. Oh, by the way, it's Columbus Day, too. And Columbus never did sail to America. He hit the Bahamas, for Christ's sake. Not a bad place, but anyways, we're here with Sean King, Taylor King, Cliff Yates. The show is Private Sales. You can check it out on Amazon. I'm Gary Garber, and we'll be back with more chaos right after this. NBC Talk Radio, 10.50 a.m. Right on. All right, it is Control Chaos, KCAA, 10.50 a.m., 106.5 FM in the Inland Empire. I'm Gary Garber, here with uh, actor, comedian, former L.A. County Sheriff, Cliff Yates. You're always posting... (laughs) You're always posting Facebook pictures and stuff like that, Cliff. You're all over. You've been all over, man. You've been you were like out of out of L.A. for a while, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, it's all about promotion, Gary. I learned from you. People got to know who you are. Me. Um, we're also here with Sean King and Taylor King. They have a series, a web series on Amazon. It's called Private Sales. It's about high end escorts. Did you have any problems getting any of the, the women to play whores or prostitutes or something like that? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm asking. I mean, you know, I mean. here's the truth. We wrote the role so they weren't dumb and everyone jumped on board. Oh, they did. We have no Barbie escorts. You know, most of these girls that are, that are getting six, eight hundred, a thousand bucks an hour. Um, they're not dumb and, and they know exactly yeah. what they're doing, how they're making money. And they need to be able to go to a dinner with the CEO and sit with those wives and play the girlfriend and then take the guy back at the end of the night and have a great time. Right. Cliff is what? Cliff's a hitman? Well, I mean, what, yeah. what, what, how are you playing a hitman when you're, you're – you're, it's, it's is it an escort service? I mean, is that what it's all about or what? I killed his parents because they were crooked lawyers, and I put on my CHP face, and I look just like a hitman. I'm Gary Garber here with uh, Cliff Yates. Cliff, if somebody wants to find you, Facebook or what? CliffYates.com, baby. I'm on the internet. Oh, yeah, That's you have worldwide. Your own, you have the CliffYates.com thing, huh? That WW, World Wide Web. I'm on that thing. You're on that World Wide yeah. Web? Yeah. Yeah, great. <laughs> of life, the World Wide Web of life. All right. Also here with Sean King and Taylor King. Their show is Private Sales. It's on Amazon. It's about high-end escorts. Oh, yeah. I like I like the low-end whores like myself, <laughs> but that's okay. All right, it is Control Chaos. We'll be back after this. NBC Talk Radio, 1050 AM, KCAA. All right, it's Control Chaos, KCAA, 1050 AM, 106.5 FM in the Inland Empire. I'm Gary Garver, here with Cliff Yates, former L.A. County Sheriff. We haven't even really touched on the... uh, God, you're so into yourself, man. I mean, serious. Well, no one can love you until you love yourself, Gary. You told me that. I hate myself. What do you mean? All right. right. Also here with Taylor King and Sean King. They're the producers, wrote, directed, produced uh, Private Sales. It's about high-end escorts, that whole uh, situation. I mean, I don't know if you call it CD, but strange, I would call it. Uh, it's on Amazon and Amazon Premiere. You can check out. So all you do is like what type in Amazon.com and then how do you, how's this whole Amazon thing do? Because I have, listen, I have a flip phone, but it, it, I, I can't get an Amazon.com on it, right? So how do you, how do you get the, how do you, how do you find private sales if you want to watch this? Sure. I mean, if you can just go to Amazon.com um, and you type in private sales. If you're a Prime member, then you're, you're probably already hooked up with your movie section because they have so much great content for free. Um, and yeah, type in private sales and we'll, we're, we're the number one, you know what? We're the number one private sales. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you know, we went right to the sales. top. You went to the, and you guys want to, an award at the Corona Film Festival yeah. or something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, best, best new series. Really? Uh, yeah. That's awesome, man. And, but you know what sucked? They didn't send us the email that there was an award ceremony. <laughs> so we, we literally <laughs> showed up and they're you like, didn't oh, even show up. Yeah, for the screening, they're like, oh, here, you won today. We're like, well, thank you. So, so they, they didn't even tell you about the award show? So the the email bizarre. got lost, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Always, right? Lost in the mail, right? <laughs> so there you go. That's, that's pretty crazy. Sean, we were talking about it off the air about this whole thing about like all these guys, like I guess this back page is like huge. It's more like, it's like the S court service of the, the the 21st century right i mean you don't you don't you know I don't, I don't i don't know how you did it before or how it's done now but it's 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 sort of i guess you go online and and you go to this backpage.com and they have escorts and things like that on there huh yeah i think in the back in the day you had the madams um yeah. on the high end and then you had the uh the pimps for maybe the low end but uh now it, it, it's a it's a super yeah you'd be walking the street i guess there were street like sunset boulevard when i was growing up you'd see yeah. all the hookers there on friday night and saturday nights yeah well back page is basically crazy list for girls. Yeah. Uh, but in our research, what we found interesting is there's hardly a city in the U.S. or around the world that you, you look at, and there's 10, 15, 20 girls 
really attractive, very well put together, available within an hour. Are they are they is, are pimps doing this stuff or is it is it are they are these girls just doing it on their own to try to make a buck on the side or how's it all rolling? Yeah, they, I well, mean, I think the pimp used to provide a bit of safety when he probably wasn't beating you, but but now we have is independence and they can literally come on and they'll even say independent. And so it's you But know, is that really independent? It, 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 <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. It, it, yeah, yeah. It, it's tough to know, but there's there's college girls and they're putting themselves through college and uh, yeah, I mean, literally, they'll they'll do they'll do their homework and then they'll go on and they'll log on and they'll work for five or six hours and pay for the week. Wow, that's crazy, man! And it's all over the country, huh? Everywhere. And then in our research, what we found is their clients are everyone in your neighborhood. So it could be it could be your, your, your you know your a lawyer, your, a doctor, your your, your, your principal, your, your principal, your teacher. Yeah, I mean, it, it really there was no bounds. And the, th- the other thing that was really interesting is it wasn't all about sex. A lot of times it's they're missing something, and and a lot of the stories were their wives, say a husband, their wives just don't care anymore. They're just they don't want to hear the football story again. They don't think you're funny. Uh, they think leaving your socks on the ground is just. It's, why don't they just leave? Why why, why I don't know, that's another thing I don't know. If you're that tired of somebody and life's so short and I, I, I and my friend is going through a divorce right now and he stayed with his wife for like 10 years and they didn't have sex for like 10 years he told me. Sure. Now Taylor, I know listen, you're young. You got you got <laughs> your whole world ahead of you. You're just hearing, you know, uh male 101 right now. This isn't yeah. Donald Trump. This is just the way reality is, man. But you got a good taste of it by being a driver for the uh, these escorts. Did you did you guys did you ever uh do any re- real research? on these escorts and drivers and stuff like that? Thank I was you. with um, my granddad at his barber shop and his barber was talking to me about the show. He's like, yeah, you know, I used to be a driver for an escort. I was like, really, when? He's like, well, back in the 60s, um, I lived in Vegas and I drove for this one girl for probably two years. Mm-hmm. And so she was in it for two years, had a plan, went in, got out. That was it. That was it. And so I was asking him, how did you get, because it comes up in the show where a guy doesn't pay. And I have to go and get the money. Exactly. That's another thing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The and guy doesn't want to pay. He says, I'm not paying. And then she comes out, right? And then what happens? Yeah. So I, in the show, I handle it sort of a 21st century where I find out where he works, who his kids are, or who his ex-wife is. Uh-huh. And I sort of take that, that <laughs> back row. <laughs> but he's, so I said, so how did you get – did you ever have any clients that didn't pay? He's like, all the time. I was like, how did you handle it? And he's like, I always had a 45 in my belt. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. I talked about the guns and all that. Yeah. I'm sure they, they used to carry them back in the day. But here, right now, you don't have to. You write social media with all that. You can you can yeah. track these suckers down. Yeah, exactly. And they're at you're going to their address or whatever. You know exactly where they live and all that. And all you have to do is go out there and go, yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> that's Plus, cool. tip. Plus a tip. That's right. Plus yeah. a tip. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, but then there's the other aspect where forget the wives and money, whether it be Bill Clinton, Tiger Woods, Elliot Spitzer, I mean, it goes on and on. They have so much to lose. And maybe it's just guys and the way we're wired. Maybe. You get that satisfaction from a female telling you you're good, you're pretty, you're you're handsome, whatever. Because these guys had a lot to lose and, and did. And did. Yeah. I mean, look at Tiger Woods. I ha- mean, he hasn't won since. He hasn't. I mean, he was he was having sex with 14 di- different women at once and, and he was winning major championships. As soon as he he, he got uh, blown up, uh, he his oh. game was blown up. I mean, yeah. it was it was amazing. And and these guys like Anthony Weiner, Sextine. And I mean, uh. what the hell's wrong? What the hell's wrong? I mean, we, we are guys are we're strange, man. I mean, yeah. you know, women, women are crazy. I, I say this and we should instead of Venus and Mars and all that. That crap it's it's yeah. you know women are crazy and guys are strange because yeah. that's the truth we are strange we we will we will throw away everything on something really stupid yeah. right yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's amazing anyways well listen guys uh i look forward i'm gonna watch the i'm gonna watch the series i'm gonna actually go to amazon.com and check it out sean king and taylor king check out their uh web series private sales you got and how many episodes you have uh first six are up next six coming uh the, right after the first of the year cool is, is are you still in involved in it cliff uh, you still going to be the hitman are you still going to play the what's your name in it tuesday tuesday <laughs> <laughs> i said great wasn't that wasn't that from the adams family <laughs> yeah, tuesday. Was, yeah. Oh, yeah wednesday yeah. Wednesday, <laughs> wednesday that's right i knew it was a day of the week i came I, before uh, t- wednesday that's yeah, right so. you, you oh well be, 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 be careful man donald trump might get you <laughs> all right <laughs> all right, yeah. all right listen thank you guys so much for uh, coming in thanks, today Gary. Really thanks Gary. It. and cliff uh, you're going to be at the haha's cafe uh, this Thursday with the great Mike Marino. I'm not going to be drinking it. It's Yom Kippur. I got to hold my fast, what? man. Yeah, I got it until about seven o'clock. Cocktails. Tonight. I'm drinking today, guys. As soon as seven o'clock rolls around on sundown, I'm going to be drinking <laughs> heavy, man. I'm going to be drinking like tequila, man. I'm going to get smashed. Okay. 
But I, God, I just want before we leave, God, please give me a break. Okay, come on. All right. I, I, I love you. I love you. I, please, give a brother a break, okay? I do everything I, the best I can. All right, it is Control Chaos, KCAA, 1058. Exactly. Hey, come on. I'm part of the tribe, for Christ's sake. Come Jeez. on. Come on. All right. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Take it.